Hello everyone, before you're about to see some bullshittery, a short message from our sponsors. Hello, are you tired of playing League the same way on daily basis? Are you done building the same builds on champions like Yasuo, Riven or Fizz? Do you want to change your League's future and reputation? Then look no further because off Meta Taco has got you covered. It's a series of episodes of showing a plenty of ways to expand your League's games with RT and make people more tilted than your computer screen after a usage of a 4 year old, knowing that normal builds are worthless than a build that no one expected. The fuck did I just compare? <laughs> the services are free and every episode will be shown random because it's services, not a TV show. Anyways, here's our first situation. Roll it! See, you wouldn't blind pick or draft pick, either way. You go in solo queue and it's a fan dabby dozy day. Well, guess what? In blind pick, if you're waiting 5 seconds to get in the actual champ select, guess what you're left with? SUPPORT! What about draft pick? Autofill. It is just that simple. Autofill. Get support all the way. If you'll be lucky enough, you'll get jungle. Well, if you want to show full disrespect to Rito system or the people who leave you with supports, well, I got a solution for you! Full AD Nami support. Now, you probably have seen this by the random Yordle, but it's just ADC, not full AD Nami support. You heard me right. Support. From NA to EU, you can hear my quotation marks of sarcasm. This is an off meta that has nothing to do with support. It contains two things. One, Tilting your team with a sign of teaching them to fuck off from their wanted lane, and two, to let your enemies taste the real flavor of a tuna. Splashing water on them won't do much, but when you give them the real stench of a fish, then woo, it is fun. The point of this off meta is not to win or lose, it's about to break others' mentality. You have to mostly break your team's mentality. Enemy team does not really matter, mostly leave them confused. Disclaimer, to whole support mains, if you're not offended by this, keep watching, but if you are, then you know, the door's over there, you can slightly tip tap though, cause this is about to trigger you into non-existence. This shit contains 4 steps, and don't be scared, if you don't have mental instability, you should do fine. I'm so happy, I'm so happy that lucky me. Runes, masteries and build, now this shit is the simplest, just as simple as buying the actual fish. For runes, you either take casual ADC or AD runes. No customization. And about masteries, you'll go 12 8 no with the keystone of either Warriors, Bloodlust, or Fervor of Battle. Cause shit like Thunderlords, Wind Speakers, or Curves of the Colossus won't do shit. Not even normal support Nami go doesn't go like this. <laughs> or maybe. Eh. Now, full AD Nami support doesn't have a specific build. As long as you build her like an ADC, you're good to go. My personal build is Static Shiv, Berserker's Greaves, Infinity Edge, Runin's Hurricane, Bloodthirster, and. Uh... I have no clue what to build last, I you just go Essence Reaver, I have no fucking idea. I'm so happy, I'm so happy that lucky me. Now the rest of these three steps take place in-game, and this step is one of the hardest ones. But do not worry, it is worth in the end. So step two takes place in the whole game. Farm stealing. You know you need gold to build some items. Now, taking every single minion is not necessary unless you're going for the full mentality break. But there's one specific minion that you should take by any means necessary the cannon minion the only minion that gives you the most gold and gives your body the most pressure if you calculate the remaining damage just like any regular korean player you should define who the hell is kane yeah i don't think i'm going to make a video about him okay okay now but that's a bit too much I'm so happy, I'm so happy that lucky me. this is somehow easier and simpler than step two since i will not sort these steps by difficulty Step 3 is to steal kill, and if your calculations aren't lost after the first 3 seconds, then congrats, you're good to go. Since Tuna's E gives additional damage, you should outscale the meta, and your other worthless twat in the bot lane... <laughs> a bit too much hatred, need to cover. Hey, what do you call a fishy signature move? A finisher. I'm so happy, I'm so happy that lucky me. This is the main point of full AD Nami support. Still no clue why Sakasin they call her a support. Making your teammates regret leaving you a BS role of a support. And all these three previous steps helps out most of the time. Now, do you BM? Do you type shit on chat? Or do you even laugh everyone else off since the tuna can do more, more damage than anyone else? Well, no, no, and yes. Leave them confused and mad, mostly make your ADC mad of how good of a 
support you are. That's probably the best part. They make enemies confused and scared more than a caveman when they discovered fire. Actually, they had no clue what the fuck were they doing. And you know, it's, uh, I guess yes, if you feed all your off mat doesn't go really work that well, it is fine. As long as you have a higher GTA than anyone on your team, mostly ADC, then your objective is finished. The moral of a story, be careful when you give someone else support, especially me. Only 5% at a time I'll pick a normal support in a pre-made. I'm not the biggest fan of support really, but when it comes to something like ranked games or really serious games, maybe I could say prefer support. And in any ways, thank you so much for watching the first guide on how to fuck up your League of Legends games and your reputation. If you liked it and want to see something more, slam that thumbs up. I think that's what most of the YouTubers do. And leave a comment to make sure you know what to make next, or if you want to see more of this shit. I actually have no personal idea, because honestly, I kind of like making this series. And as always, eat tacos, stay swaggy, and I'll meet you in the next episode. Talk to you later.